Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus and Joe. Over the weekend, we just hit 50k subscribers, which is just insane, man. I can't even explain how it feels. It just seems surreal. I know it doesn't seem like a lot to some people, but for me, yo, this was a dream of mine like two years ago. So I just want to shout out everyone for supporting everyone that's been watching the videos, subscribe to the channel, everyone that's got a kit in the past. So much love to you all, man. I've only been running this channel for just over a year. So the growth for me has just been crazy. There's been a lot of producers that have messaged me saying that I've helped them become better producers, even helped them get major placements, or even just inspired them, which is just mad for me to hear. So what I would say is for anyone that's thinking about starting a channel, 100% do it. Don't make up excuses, don't overthink anything. Even if you're just recording with a phone right now, then just roll with that until the time's right to upgrade. Stay consistent with it and you'll be surprised at what can happen. I will be announcing a big giveaway to show love back to everyone. I'm just organizing a few last things, so hopefully it'll be within the next week or two. So definitely keep a lookout for that. But yo, in today's video, I'm going to be making a Mexican inspired drill beat. Someone suggested it in the comments a while back and since then I've been thinking about it and plus burritos are my favorite food so I had to do it. I just get good vibes from Mexican music as well so I thought this one would be fun to make. It might be a challenge too because Mexican music isn't really dark but I'll see what I can do. So I won't waste any more time I'll get straight into it. All right, so I've been looking through some Mexican music. At first, I was going through some Mexican artists and then seeing what tracks they had. And then I came across this playlist, which was just called, it was something like Taco Tuesday's playlist. Had some bangers in it. I found this one track that I really want to sample, so I'll just play it first. I think that melody is just real catchy. So I'm not really sure what to do with this one yet. To be honest, I just love the sample. So I would like to just add drums, obviously change the tempo, maybe the pitch, and then come up with a drill track. But at the same time, I want to be a little bit creative. So I might try chopping it and see what different effects we can make. So first I'm going to grab the loop from Edison that I like. So it starts here. So I'm going to take that, drag it to the playlist. All right, I'm going to set it to stretch. Because it's at 110 right now, I think it's gonna sound too fast if I bring it up to 140. I could try to bring it down to 70, it'll be the same thing. Way too slow. So this one might be tricky because the tempo is not quite right. Let's boost it up a bit and let's see what halftime sounds like. So I like it on 1.5. What I might try to do is render this first and then chop it up in Fruity Slicer and see what we can get. Maybe just rearrange it a bit. Let's try to reverse it. Let's take the original sample again and see if there's anything else we can do with it. I wasn't really feeling the chops that I made. Actually sounds cold. I'm going to have to take all of that bass out. All right, and I just want to try this plugin as well. This is supposed to balance out the frequencies. I just want to use it subtly. Just cleaning it up saving room for my drums. All right, now I want some vocals in there. So I'm going to look through Splice, maybe Loop Cloud and see what I can find. Yes, I found the jokey's vocal that I could use, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. Girl, that pussy stinks. That's a fish taco. <laughs> like, Girl, it would fit over the beat, but I don't know if it's right for the beat. Mm. That actually sounds sick. And I'm going to make a few chops because I know how I want to chop it when I start arranging it. And for one last layer, I'm thinking to add some kind of flamenco guitar, so I'll see what I can find. Thank you. 
All right, so this guitar, I, there might be a way to change it in Omnisphere, but when I'm playing it, it just sounds too offbeat. So I just want it in thirds and triplets. It's just sounding a little bit strange. So I'm just gonna create something similar with a different guitar. I think that could work once I adjust the velocity and add some effects. Let's see what halftime sounds like on the guitar. Maybe up an octave. I actually quite like that. That might be good for a verse and then normal for a hook. I just want to take out some of the nasty frequencies. So I know a flamenco guitar is Spanish, but I have heard them in some of these Mexican tracks and they use similar guitars as well. So I think it fits the vibe. All right, let's see what else we've got. What other instruments we could use? The ocarina. Let's see what this is. A wind instrument, so kind of like a flute. Let's use one of these. Alright, so I think I've got the main melody down now. Obviously, when I start arranging it, I'll switch things up a little bit. But for now, I think I could start adding in some drums. I'm going to use this because it's pretty much a shaker. I think it will fit the vibe. slides here. All right, so the eight weight's hitting around A sharp and A, which just sounds way too muddy when it's lower down. So I need to pitch the sample. I'm gonna pitch everything up too, see if that works. Right, now I need a couple perks in there. I don't want to add too much because the sample's got quite a bit in it. So if I start adding loads of percussion, it's just going to sound way too messy. Maybe something like this. Definitely this one in. So I've just replaced that snake one with this rattle, which sounds a little bit better. And then I want, I think just this last perk for now anyway. All 
so for now, I think that's enough. So I'm just going to start mixing it, arranging it, and then I'll see if I need to add anything else. All right, so finished mixing and arranging the beat. And the only thing that I couldn't take out was the hi-hats in the sample. And uh, that was bugging me, man. I was trying a few different parts of the sample, but wherever there wasn't hi-hats, there was a lot of percussion and it just sounded weird. So I've just got the drill hi-hats playing on top of them. I think it still sounds fire, but see what you guys think. So the intro, I've just half timed. And then I'm just gradually bringing it out here. So I think it's just my bouncing. Then the vocals come in. Different 808 patterns. So just a quick verse and then a bridge. So just to keep it interesting, I've brought the main melody down, an octave and a guitar. Then everything apart from the flute. the second part of the hook. And then straight back to the verse, but a different start. So it's just a lot of breaks in the drums. And the rest of it kind of repeats so i've kept this one pretty simple so i hope you like the video and i hope you're feeling the beat if you've got any other suggestions for other countries then let me know in the comments i've slowly been working my way through them and like i said i'm going to be announcing a big giveaway soon i'll probably be posting it on youtube and my instagram which is at jcactusmusic so keep a lookout for that thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time